creators welcome guys thank you for joining me for a moment in becky's house of cards thank you for or just please like this video share this video subscribe to my channel down below set that notification bell so you always know when the next video does go live with that being said today i'm doing something a little bit different this is going to be dealing with a sagittarius so you could be a Sagittarius dealing with another Sagittarius, but I'm going to do two piles because not everybody is dealing with the same thing. This is just a general collective message on if you're dealing with a Sag or not. So yeah, I've done a couple so far and they've been really interesting and let's get into it before we get too far here. So Source, what messages do you have for the collective piles one and two? dealing with the Sagittarius what do they need to know dealing with their Sagittarius what messages do you have for them source dealing with the Sagittarius the collective dealing with the Sagittarius piles one and two what do they need to know dealing with the Sagittarius what do they need to know Pile number one, what do they need to know dealing with the Sagittarius source? What messages does pile number one need to know? Okay. Thank you. And pile number two, what do they need to know dealing with the Sagittarius? Pile number two, what do they need to know dealing with the Sagittarius? Okay. Thank you. What other messages do you have for pile number one dealing with the Sagittarius source? Pile number one, dealing with the Sagittarius. What else do they need to know? What else does pile number one need to know dealing with the Sagittarius? One oh, card, please. What else does Sagittarius need to know dealing with the Sagittarius? All right, thank you. And pile number two, dealing with the Sagittarius. What do they need to know? What information do they need to know? Thank you. Okay, well, what else does pile number one need to know dealing with a Sag? Thank you. And pile number two, what else do they need to know dealing with a Sagittarius? What else do they need to know dealing with a Sagittarius source? Pile number two, what else do they need to know dealing with a Sagittarius? Okay. What else does pile number two need to know in dealing with a Sagittarius? Oh, thank you. Pretty simple here guys, nothing crazy. We have pile one and pile two. Alright, pile number one, what do you need to know in dealing with the Sagittarius? Okay, we have the seven of wands in the upright. We have the devil card in the upright. And we have justice in the upright. Okay, do you want to get a clarifying card for the devil card? May I please have a clarifying card for the devil for pile number one? Whoa, okay, well, I was going to... I'll take them. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Oh, no, never mind. Never mind. My bad. I mistook. Okay, so I feel like this is for the devil, and then this is for justice here. So we have the three of wands in the reverse, and we have the magician in the upright. So... All right, here's the deal. They want to succeed. I'm just going to tell you this. They want to succeed at whatever it is in life that they're trying to do right now. This is against heavy odds. Like, this Seven of Wands here is depicting a situation that is fraught with peril and pain and suffering and dealing with people who don't believe in them and dealing with people who don't see them as themselves. And the problem is, is that this particular Sagittarius is also dealing with the burden of toxicity in this moment, right? An unprincipled quest for money. They're trying to get what it is that they can because they really truly feel like this is what's going to bring them into a space of being able to fairly justify their lives like it's like I just want somebody to see me I want somebody to know that I'm here and I feel like you've been trying to help them manifest this success as well pile one I feel like you care about the Sagittarius but I feel like the thing is is that you also are aware that they're dealing with toxic individuals and it's like maybe you've told them 
before, like, look, if you keep fighting with these people, if you keep getting involved with these toxic individuals, like, nothing is going to help. Like, you have to first discern that, and then you can work on your success. But if you keep trying to go towards toxicity of being validated, you're just going to keep getting tricked into a cycle. Like, this is a cycle here, right here. This is a deep cycle for the Sagittarius. And their energy is showing here, okay? Excuse me, I needed a drink. But it's showing in the sense of a lot of obstacles coming through, okay? There's a lot of obstacles coming through, and it's like, I feel like you want to come out stronger than before. Like, the, you want to show them that you're loyal to them. You want to show them that you'll always be there with them, no matter what, but... The problem is, is that they have so many responsibilities right now that they can't even, they can't do what they want to do. They can't. And so they end up really, truly deceiving people just to maneuver around this toxic situation. This could be a third party situation that they're in. This could be a relationship. This could be a job. This could be a family situation. Whatever it is, they're the ones that are actually creating more of an issue because they don't want to overcome that. And we've got a lot of fire energy here, so that's telling me that this is somebody that they're sexually tied to. And I feel like you care a lot about them. You care deeply about them. But look, we've got the Four of Wands on the bottom. Oh my gosh, guys, I can't make this up. Look, the Six of Wands. Ten of Wands appearing twice, both times in the reverse. It's like, look at that. They're just weighed down, and they want, this is like uncertainty in romantic situations, right? Finding themselves at a crossroads and not knowing what to do. It's just a lot on their plate, and it's like, they have an excessive preoccupation with material gain, money. Again, that devil energy coming out here. Look, this is a lot. You have ten of wands, ten of wands here, right? It's, it's interesting it would come out like that, so ten ten is a huge number for this this Sagittarius, and they're fighting, they're fighting this, this devil inside of them, this need for approval, this need for validation, they're fighting it within them, because they really feel like this is their justice, not wanting to transform, like ignoring their transformation, deeply, deeply ignoring their transformation, and I feel like you want to come in, and you want to help, and you want to, you want them to see you for, you know, the support system that you can be, but the problem is, is that they're too preoccupied with this right now, and so eventually, here's what will happen, justice will be served, okay, what will end up happening, do you see how these two are like blocking each other right now, eventually they're going to move past this, they have to, there's no continuing to repeat this, because what happens is each time you repeat the cycle, it just gets worse and worse, okay, so they're forced, they're getting forced to overcome this cycle. They're getting forced to go beyond this, to learn how to balance their energy. And as soon as they balance their energy, they're stepping up into their abundance. And this is going to be a lightning strike of a realization that's coming through like, wow, I've been working my ass off for nothing over here because I was only concerned about money. I was only concerned about getting money. I was only concerned about getting this. I was only concerned about getting that. And then this manifestation is going to come in. This, I feel like, is your energy here. You wanted to manifest justice for them. You're like, can't you just get out of this? Why do I see you, like, is one of those people that's always praying for your Sagittarius? Whoever this is, you're always just sending out good love to them, good light. It's like, look, you know what? I care about you. I want you to do well. I want you to see things from a higher space. Like, I want you to see things, but I can't be the one to do that for you. And this is also hermit energy coming in here. And it's like you just know that they have to do the self-reflection on their own. And so it's like you keep telling source or the universe. It's like you're sending out prayers. Like that's what I keep hearing. So, And take that as you will. It's not that you're necessarily kneeling on your knee and saying, Dear God, please help Sag. No, it's like you're always thinking about your Sagittarius. Like, oh, just, you know what? I hope that you learn. I hope that you come to a, a realization. I hope that you see your worth. I hope that you see that it doesn't matter about these responsibilities. Right? Like, that's what... You're just always sending out good vibes to them. Whether this is a, 
uh, you know, again, there's a lot of sexual energy here, so this could be a sexual attraction here. But this could be them being sexually attracted to somebody in a third-party situation, which is this toxic devil energy coming in. Okay, it, it, everybody's situation is different, so take it as it resonates. But I really feel like you're trying to help them manifest justice, and it's like they're so afraid. Yeah, look, we have a connection card coming out here. Woo! Oh my gosh, another 13 card. Look transformation this is the death card in reverse and then we have the 13 card here the connection card ancestors they're dealing with a lot of internal conflict right now they're dealing with a lot of internal conflict something that's happened to them in the past is coming out again and so it's like they don't know how to overcome it and i feel like you're the one that's over there like no like i want to be your rock sagittarius like i just want you to I want you to know that I'm always here for you. You could be a Aries, a Gemini, you could be a Capricorn, and you could be any one of the other fire signs, or you could be a Scorpio. This does not have to be, it's just that's the energy that's coming through, okay? You could also have that highly aspect in your chart. Yeah, look, we've got ask for help on the bottom, 14, number 5. What do you really need? Be willing to ask, ask be willing to accept support. Right? I feel like that's what they need. They need to accept support in this time. And I feel like you just know that you have to do it from afar because there's like, look, they're like bound. Like, I feel like this is them. They feel bound and tied to this situation. So there could be kids involved here. There could be a lot of different scenarios coming through here. It's like they feel very tied to it, though. Whatever it is, they feel like they can't let go. They feel like they can't free themselves. And look at how they're holding on to this tarantula here. You know, it always makes me think there's this picture out there. I'm sure you guys have probably seen it, but it's like where they're like holding on sometimes hurts more than letting go. And it's this hand and it's going through this. It has a rope tied around its hand and this hand is all red and then it starts to release and then the hand is it's less red. And then when it lets go and opens up like this, the hand looks like normal again. Going through the stages of letting go, it seems painful until you let go and I feel like that's exactly what's going on with this Sagittarius in your life is like they don't know how to let go. And so it's like you're just trying to help them manifest some sense of justice in their life. It's like almost like they've been wronged. This could be a family member for you and you've seen them suffer through situations too. I got that really strong right now. You've seen them suffer through a lot of different situations and it's really bothering you because it's like you feel like you don't they don't deserve it. Yeah. Stone people, vigilance, like this is talking about staying vigilant, not out of fear, but knowing and having faith that things are going to work out for you. I feel like this is, this is to the Sagittarius. It's like, and you can stay vigilant with your prayers and good wishes with them because they always do help. Like, I don't want you to feel like they don't help. They do help. I, I feel like this is to them saying that they really need to just have trust in the process and trust the situation that they're, this is about overcoming we have 10 10 showing up twice here we have six okay this is about finding balance and looking at yourself at a higher perspective with eyes of unconditional love and then the 13 card coming out twice here so 13 13 is a very powerful number for them or for you you guys probably see it both a lot that is just talking about how you're protected and their stability comes from within they're very ungrounded right now, though. I want you to understand that this Sagittarius is not grounded at all. They're in their sexual energy, and that's what's, that's the only thing that makes them feel grounded is getting sexually involved with somebody. So whatever your connection with them, just understanding that it's going to take patience and time for them to realize that they're worthy of it and your support and love, it really does help. Like, I don't want you to feel like you have to give up on them because... I feel like you truly have a genuine care for this person wherever your stance is in their life, okay? And that's why they're saying they just need to stay vigilant. So, and I feel like this is for you too in, in a way since is that sometimes you just have to sit on the sidelines and let things happen the way they're going to happen. You have no control over what's going on in this person's life. And it's sad because I feel like you see them, you see them struggling and it's like, I just wish that they would take my advice, but you know they're not going to. This person's very stubborn. This person has very stubborn energy coming through. 
And this is just about them learning to have faith in themselves and their direction. Yeah, look, we've got the number 15 card 6 coming in again underneath the devil. 15, 15. Like, look at this. 13, 13, 15, 15, 10, 10. Like, we have so many repeating numbers here coming out. This is huge. This is talking about practicing compassion. See things from a fresh perspective. This is to both of you. I feel like this is to you because I feel like you've been stuck doing this for so long for this Sagittarius, whoever they are. I feel like you've just tried to help them so much in their lives and it's like you want to be near them all the time just to help them. But this is letting them figure out their own thing. Like you have to because if they don't figure it out themselves, they're just going to keep repeating these cycles. Everyone benefits when we try to look at things from someone else's viewpoint. Walking in someone else's shoes can bring us to a tender understanding that may change how we are feeling now. Love and compassion always brings positive outcomes. There are so many worth, worthy ways to practice compassion. If you feel so inclined or are looking for inspiration, read up about individuals who dedicated their lives to compassionate works. There are many bi biographies of great philanthropists such as Mother Teresa, Mahatma Gandhi, and Tensi Gyatso, and the 14th Dalai Lama of Tibet. The feathers in his hair, in this little boy's hair, suggest someone is reaching out to you. Pay attention and give support and love when we needed. So I think this Sagittarius knows that you support them. I feel like they're aware of your love and kindness, and I feel like they appreciate it. It's just hard for them to really show love and compassion towards you right now because they have so much going on in their lives. And it's upsetting and it's 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 just uprooting their lives right now whatever is going on and it's like they do appreciate you in every way shape and form so i feel like whoever this sagittarius is maybe you've thought that they didn't care about the the kindness that you've given to them but the truth is is that they do they do care about you they do care about what it is you bring into their lives it's not that they are ignoring you or anything if they're not it's just that i think this is something they have to truly go through and figure out on their own so that they can really get out of this cycle this is a toxic cycle that continues to come into their lives time and time again and this is about them finally letting it go and part of letting it go is just kind of you staying on the sidelines and just being there when they need when they need support when they need support and support can just be as something as simple as just holding their hand and listening to them while they talk about their downfalls while they talk about their hurts their pains right but there's definitely a sense that they are going to come out of it there will be justice that's served they will find balance once again even though right now they may be suffering so don't give up on your Sagittarius let me just tell you that like there's no need to give up on them. They're just having a hell of a time right now, okay? So this is what I have for you, Pile 1. I really hope this helps you on your journey with your Sagittarius. And I really appreciate you being here with me for just a few minutes. And like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel down below. Set that notification bell so you always know when the next video does go live. With that being said, go forth boldly, my fellow creators, and courageously find creative ways to rise above in life, laughter, and love. Until we meet each other again. Mwah. Peace out. I love y'all. Bye. Okay, pile number two. Dealing with Sagittarius. What do you need to know? We've got the ten of swords in the reverse. Okay, we have the two of coins in the upright. Okay, and we have the four of wands in the reverse. Woo, alright. Sorry, I've got to itch my back. It's great when you have an uh, altar here and you've got tools on here where you can scratch your back so first off I think that that's indicative to this reading is that they feel like they're carrying the world on their shoulders like I feel like this Sagittarius is carrying the world on their shoulders I feel like there's a lot of myriads and twists in their life right now right let me get some clarifying cards for this ten of swords in the reverse okay thank you and then may I please have a clarifying card for this four of wands in reverse May I please have a clarifying... Thank you, source. Look at that. We have the, the Pope S on the bottom of the deck in the reverse. They're not listening to their intuition right now. Yeah, they're having repeatedly failed relationships, right? They're finding it hard to be nurturing towards situations that could be including you. So you could very much have a lot of love towards the Sag in your life. Whatever your position is, okay? And I want... 
Everybody understand this could be a love situation. It could be a family situation. It could just be a friendship. Okay. Like we have the ten of wand, or excuse me, the ten of coin in the upright. Okay, and then we have the knight of coins in the reverse. Yeah, so there's a lot of. So this four of wands in the reverse is talking about romantic frustration, which is weird because I came up with the first pile too. But really, look, we have ten ten coming out. This is this is so crazy here. Okay. So we have 1010 coming out here, and this is talking about, again, just completing this cycle, right? So they're being stable with themselves, money-wise. They have money. They're not afraid to spend money. They're not afraid to take care of those around them. They're not, but they're emotionally exhausted because there's been a fight with somebody, an emotional fight. This is like, this is a mental and emotional fight. This is talking about you met your match with somebody who's going to hurt you as much as you hurt them. Okay, like, I, I don't know how else to put that, but it's like, hurt people hurt people, and it's like, this Sagittarius has a lot of hurt, and who they're with, they hurt too, so they could be with a Virgo, a Gemini, a Capricorn, an Aries, or a Taurus, could be with a Pisces or a Cancer as well, doesn't have to be, those are the energies that are coming out, also Scorpio energy, heavy Taurus energy though coming through, but they have repeated bad relationships here. Like, look at this. We have the Six of Cups in the reverse. Right? And this is just failed relationship. Failed relationship. What is going on with the Sagittarius out there? I feel like you've watched this happen. I feel like you've seen this happen more than once. I feel like there's a lot of energy in here that you're like, why can't you just stop and listen to your intuition? Stop getting involved with people who don't care about you. Like, I feel like you've voiced your opinions in this situation as well. Okay, and this could be, you could be the one that's in love with them and you feel like the situation is failing and there's, the problem is, is it's because this is all about money. Look, money, 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 really it is and there's a lot of twists and turns that come, end up happening. It's like, so I feel like once they get a lot of money in and they're taking care of things, they're not paying the bills because they're too concerned about what's going to come next. You can't see around the river bend, so it's like, what can I spend my money on so that I feel secure? And then that causes this romantic frustration here, right? Causes situations to not be stable, to not feel stable, to not feel whole. Like there's a sense of not feeling whole and trying to fill a void here, right? It's like being led astray by these romantic frustration energies too. So your Sagittarius could be cheating. Could be. Okay, I just, I, I, I'm not here to call anybody out. Again, this is just a general reading, so you could be a family member on the side watching this happen, and you're like, I know, don't even talk to me, Becky. I know they've been doing that for months now. I'm well aware of the situation. But they're being led astray, and like, this is clarifying the Four of Wands in reverse. It's talking about being led astray and being impractical. Romantic frustration will put two and two together, right? Cheating, cheating. And it's because they're not sure of what's coming next. And because whoever's at home, this is the card being at home. Whoever's at home, they're only making money because this person, they're not, they're not in love with this person. They're exhausted with this person. Okay? And yet, they're not listening to their intuition. Seeing over and over again that... So I feel like maybe these people, they got involved when they were together with somebody else and they got involved in a situation and they were cheating. So they got involved in a relationship together while they were cheating on their exes. Does that make sense? That's the energy here. It's like, it's, it's like that's how crazy that is. It's like repeating a similar situation. So Sagittarius got involved with whoever they're with now by cheating on whoever they were with before then built up this relationship and now they're in the same situation or a similar situation as to what they were in before and your Sagittarius is now cheating again because that's the cycle that's the cycle and there this to start the reading off to clarify a 10 with a 10 this is source coming in saying it needs to be finished like you need to realize this Sagittarius and this may not be anything for you to say pile to like it just may be you're just wondering what's going on, and this may be just confirming what you already knew, right? This may be confirming what you already knew, yeah, to emerge, to emerge beyond this energy. They want, look, that's the problem. 
Sagittarius gets freaked out. They don't want to show their vulnerabilities. And so they get freaked out and they go right away into the fight or flight mode. And their energy is, let me f get the hell out of here because that's how I fight. By going away. <laughs> and it's whoever's involved. It's just sad for whoever's involved. Like, whoever they're with, it's just unfortunate because... Honestly, don't, there's no love. Like, I'm not getting love from this other person. I'm not getting love from the Sagittarius in this. What I'm getting is that this Sagittarius is a way of stability for whoever they're with. And that's why the intuition is in the reverse. They're not listening to their intuition. Neither one of them are. And I feel like you're, you're on the outside looking in. Like, that's what I heard. On the outside looking in. And then I was also shown a picture of a window where you're, like, looking inside watching a family. And it's kind of like you're just shaking your head. Like, because they're trying... Like, to the outside world, they try to portray themselves as a happy family. But see, you're the one outside looking in. And it's like, you see the deepest, darkest things going on. You just know. So you could very well be an empath pile, too. You don't have to be or anything like that. But that's the energy that's coming through here. It's like, you just know. You know what's happening. You know what's going on. And it's like, you're the one that gets the sneak peek preview through the window. Watching them fight and struggle and you're just like wow like that's not happiness at all and so with this to clear be over these two here it's like talking about just being able to emerge and put their goddess crown on their god crown on and just really start to listen to themselves and listen to their intuition and get out of this energy of hurting themselves you know like they're out of balance with themselves they're not in harmony with who they are they don't see themselves from a place of love they don't see themselves from a place of abundance and prosperity. They basically just see themselves as the only thing they're worthy of is to repeat the same cycles over and over again. There's so much. Look. Oh my gosh. We've got another 10 coming out. Leadership. Do you guys see that 10? 10 right there. Leadership. This is Ganesh coming through, right? And it's like... Ganesh is the overcomer of obstacles. This is a huge obstacle for them, and they're not able to overcome this obstacle. And so I feel like this may be also deterring you because of how much you care about your Sagittarius or how much you're worried about them. Like, I, I definitely get, like, a sense of worryment about them. Or even if you're not, like, you're just, you want to know what's going on with them. Maybe you're just a, a cross-watcher. Maybe you're the one they cheated with who they're with, when if that's the case, well, they're not happy, and I'm not here to say that so that you can be happy about it. I'm just, it's, it's sad. It's sad that they couldn't find happiness in this situation because they're not leading their lives. Like, they're afraid to lead their lives. They're afraid to overcome this obstacle. This is a huge obstacle for them. Look, 222 coming out, this is a powerful number. This is, this is telling. Like attracts like. If you long for more love, be more loving. And then forgiveness on the bottom. Number 29 says, Nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointments. It's not. Like, they're actually, like, repeating a past situation all over again because they're holding on to past disappointments. And so it's like they need to really forgive the situation. They need to come up out of this energy and they need to move on and go back on with their lives and come back into a place of leadership. It says the law of attraction states that you need to be in the vibration of what you want to create. Love will come to you more readily if you surround yourself with love and easily find things to love about your life. Take a moment to think of the many things you love. Use your imagination and visualize a world in which you can manifest your heart's desire. Try not to seek out whatever it is that you wish for. This is the challenge, challenging aspect of the law of attraction. Act as if what you yearn for is already here. Giving attention to or waiting for what you are longing for sends a message to the universe that you don't possess your desire and you will not magnify, magnetize having it. I feel like they desire a stable relationship. I do. I feel like they want love. I feel like they don't want to be in romantic frustration anymore and they don't want to feel like they're sabotaging themselves. And so I feel like because they focus on that so much, these situations keep repeating. 10, 10, 10. But when they... Here's the deal, Pile 2. When they realize what they're doing, they're going to step right up into this leadership role and they will actually help others overcome this very same energy. So just keep having faith in your Sag. You know, like if you're the one that got hurt by them, I'm so sorry. 
that you had to go through this, but just maybe understanding where they're coming from will help you find a space of forgiveness for yourself so you also don't repeat this situation, okay? This is what I have for you guys. Please like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel down below, set that notification bell so you always know when the next video does go live. And with that being said, go forth boldly, my fellow creators, and courageously find creative ways to rise above in life, laughter, and love until we meet each other again. Peace out. I love y'all. Bye. What's up, what's up, what's up, my fellow... Wow. <laughs>